Hey, what's going on guys? Just picked up my new S20 Plus. This would be for all the models as well, but just picked it up. We're gonna go ahead and get right into the video here. Let me move the box out of the way. Now this is gonna be the new phone, obviously. I'm recording on my S8 Plus that I wanna transfer all my information from this phone to this phone, text messages, photographs, kind of choose what I want. You have a couple different options. Now in the box, they actually gave me a USB-C to a USB-C. You can either do this wired method or wireless method. I did purchase this pre-owned, and so it was kind of already set up. Obviously, it says like, let's start. Just go ahead and enter English or whatever language you want. Go ahead and connect to your Wi-Fi. We're gonna skip those steps. Log in with your Google account if it asks you for that. I've already put my SIM card in. That's just information that you guys don't even really need to know. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. What you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and get over to Smart Switch. In the activation menu, it will lead you to this, but if you've already done it like I have, then all you do, if you can't find Smart Switch in your apps, go to the Google Play Store, type in Smart Switch, and you already have it on your phone. So if you can't find it, just go to the Google Play Store. Once again, type in Smart Switch. This is a Samsung already downloaded into your phone for some reason. If it's not, go ahead and download it. But mine was already here on the S20 Plus. And you go ahead and open it up. Now, once it is opened up, it says transfer your data. What should this phone do? So you can either send the data or you can receive the data. I wanna go ahead and receive the data and you go ahead and select the source from your old device. So if it's an iPhone, if it's a Windows phone, if it's a Galaxy phone, we're gonna go ahead and hit this here. Now you can do it over the cable or you can do it wirelessly. Let's go ahead and just choose cable since I already have the cable. But if you wanna do it wirelessly, then go ahead and choose that. So all you're gonna do, now this is another option as well. If you still have your Samsung S8, I believe the S9s also come with that little doggle, that little extra thing. So it's USB-C to a USB to this like square device. We don't have that. We have this one that came with our new S20 Plus. So we're gonna go ahead and choose this one and we're gonna go ahead and move forward. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay the camera camera down and plug in my cable here to each phone. Quick pause on the video to thank the sponsor of this video is going to be Manscaped. Ladies and gentlemen, Valentine's Day is around the corner. And with that said, Manscaped has their brand new 50 milliliter cologne called Refine by Manscaped. They're not just a trimmer company. They have many other products besides their performance package. Lawnmower 3.0, luxury nail kit, and of course their new nose trimmer as well. If you guys want any of their new products that they do offer, their crop cleanser, their body washes, their colognes, again, Valentine's Day, ladies and men, and you want 20% off of your order with free shipping, my code is gonna be a new code if you guys are subscribers, Binsberg20, the code is always in the description box below with the purchase link. Head on over there, get 20% off, doesn't matter what you order, performance package, cologne, nose trimmer, luxury nail kit, you get 20% off your order, plus free shipping. Not to mention their Manscaped shirts, which fit athletically, very, very nice. And then of course the boxers down below, I wear these guys every single day. They're perfect for if you're an athlete, it's a no brainer. Check out their offers, see what kind of products they got guys. You're not gonna wanna miss this one. Once again, that code is Binsberg20 for 20% off plus free shipping. Thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Pick it up, enjoy, happy Valentine's Day guys. See you on the next one. All right, once they're both plugged in and mine is actually plugged in, I just actually have to film on one of them. It actually took a while. It I had to confirm that I allowed this phone to connect to this phone. And then a little kind of scroll wheel went around for like 30 seconds. And then it had like a little graph saying that it's connecting. And this is all the action right here that it is listing. This is again, the wired method, but the wireless method is gonna be pretty much identical. It says nine selected, 19 gigs, about 12 minutes. You can uncheck these if you do not want it. So let's say you don't want the apps, go ahead and uncheck that. Let's say you want the call logs, but not the text messages. You guys get the idea there. Home screen, images, video, audio, documents and files, images, video, et cetera, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. Again, total, I have 19 gigs, about 12 minutes. 
I want all that, so let's go ahead and transfer it on over. If you want to find out what data can't be transferred, go ahead and hit that. Looks like I can't transfer over WhatsApp chat history, the default home screen, images that I had in the cloud, emergency alerts, and read-only contacts that are not copied. Okay, we don't really care about that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this bottom button, transfer now. And it actually says bring your Google account. Your old one is unlocked, so it looks like you can do that as well. All right, that screen we saw just a second ago with the checkbox there. If you have YouTube accounts, go ahead and check that. You'll sign in once again, confirm it. If not, you can skip that step, but if you do have YouTube accounts, go ahead and transfer those Google accounts over, meaning YouTube, etc. All right, guys, when you are all done transferring your data, you'll go ahead and pop up on this little screen right here. Should look like this. I actually had to go back and do my messages separately. I thought it stalled out, but what it does is it kind of freezes on, let's say, like two minutes or seven minutes, 12 minutes, whatever it might be. The gauge barely goes up at all, if, if anything. So I actually unchecked, I went back and I unchecked my messages, meaning that it's going to transfer everything but my messages, and it did it flawlessly. Then I went back again and did just messages, and it took a lot longer than the anticipated estimated time, but it did go through. It said like two minutes, but it was more around 15 minutes or so. Well, pretty much it's exactly how it was on my older phone. And here's a little example for you guys here. I'm going to cover up the number there. I have one thread text messages. If your text messages are not in your app. I actually have a different Google text messaging system, not the Samsung one. So I clicked on the Samsung one and I actually transferred it over. So this one is the default now, the Google text messaging. And it might just take a while before it's organizing your old messages. So understand it might take a little bit of time before you do see your messages in your messaging system, whatever app you're allowing for that. Other than that, all the apps are there. Text messages are just slow coming in right now all the contacts are there let's go ahead and check out the camera and see what's going on there okay there's my video I did it looks like it's even transferring over those videos that I took on this one before we plugged it back in yep all my camera all my pictures are there super nice guys stay tuned for an update video on the s20 I know the s21 just came out but this is a huge upgrade from the s Eight plus. So stay tuned for that video. Thumbs that video up if this video has helped you and subscribe on your way out. We'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos. Continue to watch. We'll see you soon.